morning <laughs> it's been a bit of a chaotic this morning this morning uh, made the effort to get up nice and early to try and get some tickets for this uh, um, walk <coughs> but it's very vague on where to actually get the tickets from so <laughs> we messed about and we found out that you actually have to walk all the way to the what they call the northern access to find out if you can get the tickets from there so we've got ourselves parked up to be fair which we're quite happy about and uh, that's what we're doing now is we're walking to Thimble although it kind of makes us a little bit late because what people have said is you must be there for <coughs> 8 30 to stand any chance of getting a ticket and um well, i think we're running a little bit late for that christine who i mean she can walk faster than anybody i know well she's shot off to try and get them so i'm going to catch her up but in the meantime i suppose uh, we just carry on okay this is the start point this is a tunnel that we have to walk through it's uh, quite dark we've kind of come back to do this again so we can shove it on the beginning well we managed to get uh, tickets to uh, get in so uh, it looks like we're doing it it's about a 7k walk I think I think so we'll see <coughs> but oh behind there's a massive queue okay we're at the beginning or the start of the walk we've had our safety talk um, we're both in our hard hats Look, there's Christine look we must wear these but uh, must wear these at all times can't take them off um, well let's, we'll, we'll see how we get on but, uh, there are some quite dodgy bits as far as we're aware but we'll see first stop is the uh, dam in the wheel so we're only about 20 yards in so onwards and upwards looks like the uh, first part of the walk is uh, nice and easy not too uh, difficult nice wide path um, I don't know if you can see opposite there's a uh, part of what would have been the uh, or our first look at what was the old walkway and you can will be opposite that in a minute but you'll see that on the other side so I think about well, I don't know what it was, 10, 15 years ago. 1999 to 2005, people died. Yeah, 1999 to 2005, people died walking that. So they closed it all down. And he spent the next 10 years making it safer. So for what was once the uh, most dangerous walk, it now isn't although I don't think it's for the faint-hearted so if you're not great on heights then I don't think this is necessarily for you open this which is a, a gate which takes us onto here you can still see I, mean, I guess that's where somebody died or something because there is a like a monument on there but don't want to have been walking that myself. This is uh, narrowed off, but that's quite spectacular. 
the uh, Okay, we're now entering our first bit of the uh, walk. So, this is uh, on this platform. Um, as you can see, it's uh, quite a drop down. I mean, to give you an idea, as um pointing out and showing you down the uh, walkway uh, there's a drop down thank you You might be able to see in front there are some old steps. I don't know whether we're going down them or not. But it looks like it. But, uh, that's uh, really quite fantastic. Pardon? Yeah, it steps down that. So it's part of the old uh, steps. The old way of going. But it is quite stunning to be fair, really really stunning. So that, that's where we're walking, so that's part of the uh, walk that we're doing at the moment.
singer, the old past worker, who could have been used to string up the old um, walkway. Uh, on parts of this walkway uh, are still quite dangerous because there's falling rocks and all sorts, so you, you're not allowed to really stop. You uh, need to uh, move on. It's where these red or orange markers are. So you're supposed to uh, I admit it is quite a cool walk. It's not been difficult so far, to be fair. The walkways are wider than what I thought they were going to be. So, uh, Very, very busy. Very busy. Very, very popular place to come. That is really, really quite spectacular. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I mean, I must admit, they're quite wide, this. It's, it is dead easy to walk, to be quite honest. Um, God knows what it was like when it was in its original state. It took a few people to die before it actually closed it and did something about it. But, I must admit, I do feel fairly safe at the moment uh, I think it's mostly like this and then there's a what they call a swing bridge to do so that'll be quite interesting um, don't know how that'll get filmed I think it'd be a case of me going across and then filming Christine coming across I presume but stunning scenery can't say it's the most difficult thing I've done he says as uh, the path narrows so, we will see we will see. And I think the thing about it is because we were rushing to get here and get onto this and try and sort out where we were, we forgot to put suntan oil on, I forgot to bring me bloody sunglasses. But as it is at the minute, we don't actually need it. I'm just saying about the swing bridge when we get to it. 
I don't know how we can film that. I can only see it being one it. films while the other one uh, goes across and that would be it then. Yes. Go that the other. bench area where you can sit down for a bit if you wanted to there's the old bridge just heard the guy saying that the train needs to come along and stop there and then he needs to get on the cross that wow hey eh? the king's bridge it's called the king's bridge I think the king must have come that way then and uh, crossed the bridge on that point. Um, I guess they would have made it a lot safer than uh, what it actually is. Well, that, that is, it is truly spectacular, to be fair. Really, really enjoying it. It's terrific. Oh no, sorry. Okay. Well, you can see some of the old, like this is built on top of some of the old walkway. So, uh, there's the old walkway. Just there. So there are, there are small sections of it still left. Uh, very enjoyable, I must admit, I'm pleased it's not blazing sunshine, it's nice and cool. We got on here first thing this morning. Uh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, they, they have a hand up here, uh, a rope for you to walk along and hold if you wanted to, but I'm going to be honest. I feel, I feel pretty safe on here. Don't feel it's a problem. Really, I was worried about it um, before, but uh, not now. But look at that. How stunning is that? Amazing. Beautiful. Oh, we've an uphill bit now. Wow. Wow. Really nice. Beautiful. And then we uh, follow the path down, I think you pretty much follow the river through the canyon. Beautiful. Um, I've just had a look at on the thing, some of the animals that can be seen around here, although I must admit I've not been looking. Uh, uh, eagles, lizards, um, 
ibex which is a bit like a kind of an antelope type animal so I presume these live up in here we did see some birds that were soaring on the thermals so I'm assuming that they were the eagles they were quite high up but this is a slightly different type of path now so uh, <laughs> I suppose this is our first bridge to cross I, th I do think that um, we should keep going while it's cool rather than stop and have dinner and then mm -hmm. you know or okay. stop and have something to eat being as neither of us have got any uh, sun cream on I've got quite a dinner for me I've got there for you did you? Mine. I'm not I sharing I can't fit mine in the bag that's not my fault no, not my fault that and, and, I'm, and I'm not sharing mm -hmm. it's mine it. I don't want to share what is it anyway? it's a uh, ham and cheese butter <laughs> Christine Christine <laughs> has just tripped and as you tripped you know when you reach out to stop yourself <laughs> from falling well she did and I've got this my camera in my hand, she's to the left of me, and when she reached out, she reached out and grabbed me willy <laughs> and uh, had stopped herself from falling, falling by pulling on me willy. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we had a good stop last night as well. It was all right on there. Nice. It was a free one. Um, I think when we've done this one, we're going to start to head up for the uh, windmills. There's a series of old windmills in the centre of Spain. It's, it's in the, the middle. Holes. It's fractionally higher than what Benidorm is, but we figured we've got the time now mm -hmm. to do that. So, Bending on tomorrow. That's the plan. That's quite a cool railway journey, which is kind of on the opposite side to where we've been going. Um, we're still walking through the, uh, what I suppose is the woods, along one side. Uh, it's a pleasant enough walk, really enjoyed it. There's a few people who stopped something to eat. We, to I don't know now. if I said we decided against it because at the minute it's cool it's only going to get hotter and we're not protected so plus there's more and more people that are turning up behind us and you have to get the bus back or you walk it so uh, and they only run every half an hour but they release a group of 50 people every uh no every 15 minutes 10 oh. minutes well a bus doesn't hold that many so uh you know but it's a very popular walk that looks like uh oh no it doesn't it's uh, back on the walkways around the uh cliff side and um, coming up in a bit yeah. So we're walking back round there and then we go around the walkway again. So it looks like we've done the woods and uh Such a fantastic view. Terrific. So up these steps and then 
back onto uh, the supported walkway. Well, look at that, what was a sluice? Hmm. Anyway, I'm a walkway again. So, like I said, it, it's, it's plenty wide enough and it's easy to walk on. I think there's, I don't know how they supported it before, but it looks like that's something that they might have used at some stage or no idea well, it looks like telegraph pole type thing possibly but, uh, well this is uh, quite fantastic really quite spectacular um, we'll just get round this corner and uh, yeah some telegraph poles would have run around here uh, terrific absolutely terrific fantastic great if uh, a train was coming through now but never mind okay you can definitely see the old walkway there underneath and uh, just below these steps so we're going to walk around above it there uh, I think that's a glass floor so we will see we'll work our way around um, I guess it was never very wide to walk along originally walking on the glass to be fair there's a fair way down oh, narrowing off a bit now so about twice my body width probably a bit less than that one and a half times my body width uh, cool really really good using that word cool again Uh, these orange markers these are telling you not to stop because uh, yeah you need to try and keep moving because there's uh, the chances of falling rock loose rock animals that uh, need whatever and yet there's a photo opportunity point on the uh, glass walkway so it doesn't bother me to be fair uh, there's the glass bottom. Show you that with my feet. There you go. There's Christine's feet. Terrific views down the canyon both ways. And there's the uh, swing bridge in the distance. For some unknown reason. <laughs> Keep using French instead of saying like hola or anything like that for the Spanish I just keep using French. Well there's a swing bridge which uh, 
we're going to head across in a minute so quite a few people that are walking to the middle and then doing some photos <laughs> and then coming back so we'll uh, we'll do a, a, a similar thing seems to be a, um, a regular thing for people to do and uh, us included but um, yeah wow Look at that. Look at that. How fantastic is that? You can see all the old walkway. You can see why people died on it. I mean, there is, I've not seen one thing that has like a guardrail on it or anything like that. I couldn't walk that. I can walk this and I'm relatively happy with this. I'm usually relatively happy with um, rope bridges, swing bridges, they don't bother me too much to be fair. Thank you. Actually, it's quite brilliant, spectacular. I would not walk. You couldn't give me enough money in the world to walk across that. Never ever in a million years. see why they called it originally the most dangerous hike in um, the world it's uh, obviously not that now but it is spectacular it's a fantastic walk it does get quite narrow now these this walkway but uh, Yeah, it's, uh, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It would have been great to have seen a train running through, but I guess they don't run as often as what you want them to. I think it brings us to pretty much the uh, road to bridge. So, yeah, all right. Now we'll see. Brilliant. Okay, we're on the uh, walk bridge now. So, uh, so, uh, there's a river below, views, quite spectacular, we'll do either feet one, that's just for you that man, because I know uh, you're not keen on heights, but, uh, and then we're going to walk our way around, uh, this side. Uh, the walk has nearly finished now. So we're nearly done. We're really steady down there, so steps are quite small. Yeah. But how fantastic is that? I'll turn around and I'll show you the uh, bridge again 
So there's the uh, bridge over there, look. Going to be going across it now. Does get a little bit of a bounce on, but not much to be fair. Been We've been on worse, yeah. yeah. But that is absolutely spectacular. Look at that. Brilliant. Really enjoyed that. It gets a bit narrower at this end but I must admit you do feel quite safe I have enjoyed it little basket there to collect the rocks as they fall uh, it's been very good really really good I mean I don't know if you can see the uh, there you go There's the eagles there look on the uh, thermal currents. I, I don't know if you can see them or whether they're too far away. Uh, I'll get down these steps and I'll uh, show you again. I can there, uh, they're up there. But I'm not sure if you'll pick that up or not. been absolutely fantastic there's the old bridge and uh, Christine coming down brilliant absolutely brilliant loved every minute of it uh, don't know what I was worried about to be fair um, not one of the uh, harder things that I've ever done but the walk's been absolutely terrific. Absolutely terrific. Beautiful. That was uh, quite fantastic. So far it looks like we're, uh, I don't know if we're walking out as such we've got another tunnel I think to walk through but that that has been um, brilliant absolutely brilliant there's a uh, some sort of an office or something up here thoroughly enjoyed that Oh, quite steep then the steps we're just uh, walking past the railway now and there must be a, a possibility of rocks falling here because the cage is covered and we've got the uh, orange or red markers Whew. but that's been really good really really good And that's it, this is the uh, exit gate. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, here's pretty much one last look at the walkway that we've just come along. And, and that that goes like a around the corner, which you can't see, which is where the bridge is. That that has been really cool, really really cool. It is warming up a bit now, so it's looking like we've timed that uh, well. quite well. I said that was the last look back, but <laughs> there's another one. There's another one. <laughs> It goes around the corner between them rocks and that's where we came for the 
uh, bridge which took us across to that other side but it's That's been amazing. absolutely tremendous and uh, yeah, that's what it cost. A tenner, ten euros. Eight quid. Eight quid. Hardest thing about it buy your tickets online in advance. Make sure you get here well in advance. Give yourself plenty of time. If you haven't got tickets, you need to be here in the morning early and make your way all the way to the north access to the point where it actually starts so you will have to park somewhere else but you need to make your way here now there's a restaurant um i don't know what it's called but it's just after the tunnel it's worth parking there if you can that's free and you can park straight away it gives you a chance to get to the access before 8 30 although the ticket booth doesn't open while nine but there's only a few free spaces and the other advice is which they don't tell you is credit card machines don't work very well and they want cash and if you've got a credit card and no cash you'll have to wait they will try it but only when everybody else has gone through so there we go just coming under the railway bridge as we walk our way out of the park I suppose they call it uh, we've got to get all the way back now to where we started from which we do that on a bus which we've got to wait for <laughs> which I think is about two euros fifty cents each I think it is two fifty each so yeah. look at that for a railway bridge with the arches on it, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Beautiful. Pretty cool bridge, that. <laughs> uh, we've now got the uh, bus all the way back, and we're just about to uh, set off for our next destination. Can't remember what it's called, but we're just. Uh, taking a look at the view you can tell there must be a shortage of water because there's this massive dam and yet when you go across the uh, road or having a look across on the other side look how low the water levels are I don't know if you can see that but so we've got this here and then uh, on this side, look how low the water is. I know, I know they've got. To, wow! Look at them, Christine. Look at them beauties. Whoa! Wow! They're huge. The belters they are, aren't they? Mm. They're huge, aren't they? Yeah, must be carp. Wow, well, come as a bit of a shock that. Never expected to see them. Hmm. Should have brought me rod. Uh, we've just made a stop here. Uh, this rock is called Skull Rock. They're quite cool, really. 
It looks more like a scope on this side, man. Skull Rock. Just a quick stop, that's all. Okay, we're at a place, so we're going to have a place thing called Bobastro, which were Roman ruins. Um, and then somebody in the 9th century kind of rebuilt and made it their headquarters for some sort of a revolution around Cordoba. But uh, mm -hmm. in true Christine style, okay. it's uphill. After the Romans had been, um, this was area was rebuilt in the 9th and 10th century. It was a fortified shelter for Umar ben Hassan and his followers for over half a century. A strategic spot on Malaga's mountains and the headquarters of the rebels against the Cordoba Emirate. What a view. So, but the view is absolutely spectacular. And I'll be honest, it's not an easy place to get to. It became what was a, a Christian city inside of the Islamic Empire. And uh, I think for well over 50 years they were fighting out of the, just up on these mountains very difficult place to get to although uh, I think some of uh, the walling has been remade up they did make it into a fortified city and uh, with Christian allies that's what they had to help them so uh, it just grew and grew and grew I think people um, had kind of cave houses, cave houses so I think some were of a like a troglodyte type people, possibly. But uh, I think it would have been a very difficult place to attack and an easy place to defend. I miss a sheer drop on this side. Commanding view of the uh, surrounding area. So this would have been one of the main parts to it. They, apparently they spread out all along this mountain as they grew bigger and stronger and uh, formed more Christian alliances. Well, this is the kind of thing they built. Whew. Not sure what that is. Well, that's part of the fortification. They've cut that all out of uh, solid rock. So I think it was like the um, the church, the chapel, the place of worship. I think this is what this was. It was. Uh, 
originally Roman and then say 9th and 10th century it was uh, taken over by the rebels and they would have been all in these hills and mountains and this was one of the central points for them and I think they lived like troglodytes from what I could gather these are like the I suppose you, I don't know what you call them rooms I don't know how high this would have all gone originally but they're they're really strange we'll see it's just a floor but, uh, Fantastic. You can see how empty the reservoir is. Okay, we just uh, entered the town that we're stopping in for the night. Uh, it's in an area of Spain called the Badlands. And I think it's to do with the, the uh, rocks that you see in front. In 200 meters, turn right onto GR4104. It's uh, a free park for the night, we think. Space. If there's space, it should yeah. be as early enough. Yeah. Take the next right onto GR4104. We're, we're not on a, a major holiday route, so. Uh, In 800 meters, turn left onto GR4105. Hopefully, there'll be space for us. It's not late. Nope, which is the other thing about free park ups is uh, once you start getting near tea time tough. it gets uh, pretty tough doesn't it because it's snow in the mountains in front yeah there's uh, snow up there on the mountains snow cap mountains we're, we're still 22 degrees at the moment not that is uh, I'm not sure what the name of the town is Marshall Marchell. What's on there, Lord? Purulena, which that, is where we've just one. gone yeah. through. Marchell uh, is the name of the town that we're parking up in. But it's not far away, it's about a mile. So we, we make a 
a left turn up here just across this bridge take the next left onto GR 4105 that's what it says yeah Ma Marchal continue on GR 4105 for one and a half kilometers to do tomorrow, being as we're holidaying in Benidorm for a week, um, we want fuel, gas and a supermarket for a, a big shop. Uh, we've also got a couple of other things in, is it uh, Cartagena? Yeah, if we get time. Uh, if we get time, we're going to go and have a look at a couple of things there. Do the windmill on the way back. Yeah, and then there's some windmills uh, on the plains in Spain, and uh, we're going to have a look at those on the way back. That's about a two or three hour drive, I think, from Benidorm. In 400 metres, turn middle. right onto Calais Rambler. There we go, we see some campers there in front. That's where we go. Take the next right onto Calais Rambler, then your destination will be on the left. I think that's it. Your destination is on the left. Oh, we've got half the up long. Still yeah, which oh, yeah. way do you want me to face? Um, back in. Do you want me to back in? Yes, if you go out, maybe back in. Alright. Okay. In that corner? I'll go this, in this corner. This corner. You want me to go in that corner yeah. so we're facing him? Well, you'll be facing them, won't you? Not him, look. If you back in, you'll be facing him. If I back in, I won't be facing him. You'll be facing him. How will I? You get out on your side. Get out on your side of the van loaf. Yeah, it's going on that side of the van loaf. Yeah, but that's on this side of ours. Oh, okay, okay. You do that. Never walk after I walk that. What's the empty station? No. Don't say there's bog empty. You want to uh, watch his back? Yeah. Uh, this is our park up for the night. Um, doesn't look much, but uh, there's a few people that are here. So uh, we're uh, this is where we aim to stop. That's I think part of the reason why they call it the Badlands. There's the uh, empty and fill station. So, I think uh, this is what we'll use for this. Hello. No, we won't be filling up. We'll just be emptying. So, uh, we'll give it a go anyway. I'll do that now. <laughs> 